What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be covering a few tips and tricks to help me to improve my lap times on F1 23. The first tip that really helped me out was learning to trail brake. By no means am I an expert at it, but I'm still learning and basically what trail braking is, is as you're coming to the corner, you wanna press the brakes as hard as you can while you're steering wheel straight. But as you turn into the corner, you want to gently release them and by doing this, it allows you to brake later as well as giving you more rotation mid corner. That right there was an example of how not to trail brake and we're gonna come up into this uh, hard braking section or braking zone up here and you'll see an example of trail braking. Not the best example, but you kind of get the idea as you're turning into the corner, gently release those brakes. That will allow you to get the car turned a lot easier and carry a lot more speed. Next tip I have is corner entry and exit. Uh, I find these really important and I know it's kind of an obvious one, but in my opinion, corner exit is a bit more important than your corner entry. If you get a good exit out of the corner, you're able to get a couple tenths up, even if you mess up the entry. But ideally you wanna get your entry and exit spot on. Um, so yeah, as I said, I find it really easy to gain a bit of time on the exit of the corners and it's all down to your acceleration and how you're braking and how much of the track you're actually using. This corner is a good example, I was four tenths up on my last time and because I got a good exit out of the corner, good traction, good speed, I'm up six tenths on this lap, nearly six and a half tenths so corner exit is very important, once you get the right traction out of there you can gain a lot a lot of time. Turn one on Canada, for instance, is an example for me where I kind of messed up the first corner and I was down nearly a tenth and a half and good traction through the corner, I was up half a tenth. Not a lot, but it could be all the difference for a quality lap. The next one for me was lowering my assists, possibly the toughest thing to do if you've been running with assists until now. I myself been using assists until this year's game was released and disabling traction control is a great way to improve your time on the track. Just take a couple of laps in time trial to get the feeling for the throttle. This year's game has made it a lot easier to disable traction control. But we'll make sure to be, make sure you don't plant the throttle on the curbs or mid corner. I only try to go full throttle once my steering wheel is straight or kind of once I feel like the car is stable enough. The racing line, which a lot of people use, including myself, is a tricky one. I used to have it disabled but I turned it back on and it was the worst decision I made because everything I'd learned with it off just went out the window again I went back to relying on the racing line. Although I don't brake where it says, I brake as late as I possibly can, I kind of use it as a reference point and it kind of, it just, it's just annoying now to have it on even though I've had it off before, I just won't turn it back off. Um, but if you do disable it, do not dare turn it back on because it will it will haunt you. Now the next tip I have is to use the curbs to your advantage. I know I said earlier you need to stay off the curbs while accelerating and braking, but that's not always the case. Sometimes it can gain you a couple of tenths per corner. The idea is to make the track as wide as possible. Now. Yes, curbs can make or break your race or quality lap, so be careful as to which curbs you use and how much curb you take. The idea is to make the corner as straight as possible and to carry as much momentum as possible through the corner. But because the exits, as you're putting the throttle down, you want to be very careful because too much throttle will spin you right round. Also, heavy braking on curbs can cause you to lock up and even 
if you have ABS on, it can cause you to just, the car just doesn't slow down as much as you'd like it to. So that's where trail braking comes in really handy. As I'm coming onto the curb, I heavy brake, and then when I'm fully on the curb, I let off and start turning in and trail brake into the corner. So that can make your braking zones significantly shorter because you're carrying your braking zone through the corner instead of braking in a straight line before the corner. Last but not least on this list for me is engine braking. Now I know many people that are new to the game are probably thinking what the hell is engine braking? Engine braking is simply the process of slowing a vehicle down by coming off throttle and downshifting. In F123 I use this for heavy braking zones such as Baku Turn 1 or Bahrain Turn 1. Basically as I'm coming into the braking zone I'll quickly downshift from 8th gear to 4th or 3rd and then heavy brake and slowly downshift to the gear you need. So I'd slowly downshift to third or second if depending on the speed I was carrying. I find it really helps me slow the car down and really for slow speed corners that come off a long straight such as the Baku turn one or Bahrain turn one. I find it really helpful. So that's all the tips and tricks I have in this video that have helped me become a faster driver and by no means am I a pro. I definitely have a lot a lot of time to pick up but they definitely did help. Let me know if any of these tips or tricks help you out and if they do be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.